good evening, you guys. Welcome to my exciting channel where the fun never ends with Mandela effects. Um, this next Mandela effect comes to you straight from Adam Bockwich, who sent me something about Isaiah here. If you look in your Bible, Isaiah 25, which let me pull that up real quick, okay? Isaiah 25 now only has 12 verses, but apparently um, he believes it used to have 31 verses. So let me pull that up in my Bible. Um, Bible Gateway. Okay, so it very short, but but it says here, um, actually the, the twelve verses. O Lord, Thou art my God; I will exalt Thee; I will praise Thy name, for Thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faith, faithfulness and truth, for Thou hast made of a city and heap of a defensed city in ruin a palace of strangers to be no city it shall never be built therefore shall the strong people glorify thee the people or excuse me the city of the terrible nation shall fear thee for thou hast been a strength to the poor a strength to the needy in his distress a refuge from the storm a shadow from the heat when the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against the wall, thou shalt bring down the noise of strangers as the heat in a dry place. Even the heat with the shadow of a cloud, the branch of the terrible ones shall be brought low. And in this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things, a feast of wines on the lees, uh, that's L-E-E-S, comma, of fat things full of marrow, comma, of wines on the lees will well refined. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. I like that. Number seven. He will swallow up death in victory. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from off all faces, and, and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth. For the Lord God, for the Lord hath spoken it. And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God, we have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord, we have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. For, for in this mountain shall the hand of the Lord rest, and Moab shall be trodden down under him, even as straw is trodden down for, for the dunghill. For the dunghill, what? No, I don't know about that one. Whoops. Okay. For the dunghill. And... And he shall spread forth his hands in the midst of them, as he that swimmeth spreadeth forth his hands to swim, and he sh shall bring down their pride together with the spoils of their hands. And the fortress of the high fort of thy walls shall, be, shall he bring down, lay low, and bring to the ground, even to the dust. So, I want to ask you guys about this, because I, I know, like, logically speaking, Verse 8 could be confused with 18, but I, I love the way this sounds, okay? Definitely a good verse. Um, but what we're seeing here is many people are remembering Isaiah 18 as that 8 verse right there. You guys see that? Um, here's residue that Adam sent me. Isaiah proclaim, uh, proclaims the prophetic word from God saying, Shebna will be removed from his position and replaced by Eliakim. His wealth will be destroyed. Let's see. Um, okay, so his wealth will be destroyed and will and he will die in a distant land. And it, see, it talks about Isaiah twenty five fifteen through nineteen, but where where are those verses? They're not there. That's what this Mandela effect is about. So apparently, uh, from verse 13 on, is not even there. Uh, 
and that is my alarm to go to bed. <laughs> okay, the reason. Okay, so the the reason for this prophecy against Shebna is that at some point his, in his career he began to use his authority to advance himself uh, and himself rather than serve his people. So that's what happened. So the 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 prophecy is about Shebna. Um, here's some more residue. Um, Isaiah 25, 20 through 28. This is from sermons, Potsdam Church of the Nazarene. See it, Isaiah 25, 20 through 28. Where, is, where are those verses now? Uh, let's see. Isaiah 25, 29 through 31. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great something. See that? Isaiah 25, it's gone. That part is gone. Um, he sent me some of this here. It's kind of hard to read. Gosh. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, you guys. But it is talking about that verse, because uh, it says in the Isaiah twenty five eighteen. It says uh, something about he will something death, right? Uh, and Je Jehovah will. Something about wiping the tears off all the faces. Okay, yeah. So there it is. Some residue there. Uh, another one from a, um, a funeral. Valley Funeral Home. If you look here, it says, Swallow up death forever and wipe away the tears from all faces. Isaiah 25, verse 18. Are they getting it wrong on purpose? I mean, what's going on here? Isaiah 25, 18. He, God, will destroy death forever. That's from a Google book, folks. Um, the same God comparing the Bible with the Quran. See? Uh, another one here. Okay, this is uh, Isaiah 25, 18. September 29, 2010, right? It says here, he will swallow up death uh, in victory, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces, and the rebuke of his people shall he, uh, t yeah, it's blurry, shall he take away from all the earth the Lord, it says here the Lord for the Lord had spoken it hath spoken it um, this one's very clear you can see this one Isaiah 25 18 um, suggest that God can bring at least some dead people back to life look at that uh, death will be destroyed or swallow up in vic swallowed up in victory Isaiah 25 18 I think that verse was moved spiritually and they moved it to eight to confuse people death is swallowed up in victory I want to know what you guys think because that verse isn't even there Isaiah 25 18 God has said I will dry all tears it says here notice that Greensburg also refers to the lion laying down with the lamb um, it says right here, God has said, the lion shall lay down with the lamb, and a little child shall lead them all. Uh, Isaiah 25, 18, and look, 11, 6, right here. So that's Gre Greensburg is, is referring to Isaiah 11, 6. That's perfect residue in this book here. It's called A Spiritual Journey. I'm, I may need to get that book. Um, and I'm going to move that over here. Okay, so, in this next one, I will dry all tears, 25, Isaiah, Isaiah 25, 18. Uh, once again, Greensburg also refers to the lion down, laying down with the lamb in uh, Isaiah eleven six. Are we to believe 
he made the same mistakes twice in two different books. What? Yeah, he's right, because this is another book. Um, he says, The lion shall lay down with the lamb, and a little child shall lead them all. Isaiah 11, 6. Wow. Uh, let's see. Isaiah 25, where is it? 25, whoa. Hold on. This says, um, O Lord, our God, Isaiah 25, 13 and 14. O Lord, our God, other lords besides you have, ru you have ruled over us, but your name alone we, we bring to remembrance. They are dead. They will not live. They are shades. They will not rise. arise. Uh, to that end, you have visited them with destruction and wiped out all re remembrance of them. Wow. You guys see that, right? That's Isaiah 25, 13, and 25, 25, 14. Um, so if we do a search on that, I'm curious. They are dead. They will not live. Let's see. Um, yeah, it only shows up. Yeah, see, it's not even in the Bible, and yet they're quoting it. That's the weird thing about it. They are dead, they will not live. They are shades, they will not arise. To that end, you you have vi visited them with destruction and wiped out all remembrance of them. So guys, I want to advise you, open your Bible and take a look at it more. And you'll see these changes happening in real time. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. If you if you um, have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to email me, MandelaEffectAwareness at gmail.com. And I'll be sure to return uh, your message as soon as I can get to it. Thank you. Have a great Mandela Effect night. God bless.